Welcome back, friend, to another reaction video. This one's from Law and Crime Network about a daycare person that allegedly smacked and shoved a Todd on the job. Let's go ahead and watch this video and see what it's all about. Hi. I'm also Bailey, Fairmore Farmer. Is uh, your mom home? Is Michaela your mom? No. Is Michaela home? Yeah. Okay. Well, the other police officer on the other side. Dogs. Hey, how are you? Your dog's not going to get out, is it? <laughs> get out of the way. Hi. Can we speak to Michaela? Sure. Hang on okay. just a second, baby. Okay. Sure. Awesome. Are you taking her from her? We just need to talk to her real quick. Okay. Hi, Michaela. How are you? I'm Officer Bailey. All right. You mind stepping outside for a sec? Michaela? Honestly, I thought that name was for a you go ahead and turn around for lady, me. woman. Can you turn around for me? Thank you. Put your hands on your back. Wow, they're reaching him like right away. Yeah. No explanation. I guess it's that bad, huh? Yeah. Let's go down mm. over here, okay? Come on. Oh, it considers yeah, uh, Annie, you can my shoes. Okay. Yep, yep. Wait, wait, we can shoes right now. Can we get shoes? Be yeah, awesome, so. sure. Okay. We're just going to hang out down there real quick. Oh, and I'll explain we'll walk down. Yeah, we'll t I'll explain everything to you, okay? You just want to walk real quick. Dude, we have slides okay. or slippers. I, my hey dudes are downstairs. Hey dudes. The hey dudes? Okay. Okay. Here. Let me make okay. sure these cuffs are good. Okay? I'll kind of explain everything. Okay? Um, so it looks like you got a warrant. Okay? It's gonna Look, man. I don't really like, like, uh, judging people by the first looks or... You know, but you know when you meet a person and you right away for some reason get that feeling like, man, I don't know. I don't think I can trust this person or I don't really want to get to know that person. And it's just the feeling, right? Honestly, if I had like kids and I need to take them to their care because I understand that some people need to have their kids in their care because of the job and stuff and the family doesn't really got time to take care of them because they also work and stuff like that. And they have no choice. If I saw him at a daycare... I don't think I would choose that daycare. I'm just saying. I mean, uh, you can blast me in the comments if you want, but I'm uh, I'm just saying, man. It's going to be for child endangering. Did you think something like this was coming down the pipeline? Did somebody kind of... I talked to a detective, but you that was to a month detective. ago. I okay. it was quiet. Yeah. I haven't heard anything in a couple sure, months. Sure, sure. Do you have anything on you that's going to poker stick me? Any no. weapons or anything like that? Okay. Can I leave my glasses here, though? Yeah, absolutely. Sure, sure. Um, <clears throat> so, we are going to have to place you under arrest, okay? We'll take you to Green County. Um, is there the anything... The only question I have is, is Brittany Eirich at said Green County? If so... I have no idea. Okay. That's my sister. She was arrested from here, and she's not allowed back at the house. Okay. I, well, that's something I can let the CEOs know. I so don't, they don't think there's, like, a protection order or anything, but, um, yeah. Okay, well, I'll talk to the CEOs. Uh, I'm sure you'll tell, talk to the CEOs, too. Uh, I'm sure. Wait, did he just say his sister's in jail or something like that for a protection order? Like, she can't get close to that house? Like, what's going on with that family? Is that what I heard? Is that what you heard? Let me know, man. That's wild. So, like, he can't be near her? Or, oh, I don't... Damn, mind-blowing. I'll make room for it and make sure that that's not going to be an issue, Okay. Okay. Right. Um, I'm just going to quickly, like, make sure you don't have any weapons on you. I'm not yeah. doing a full search. That's not Uto shirt. Two you only got two pockets? Okay. Where are the pockets at? Ooh. Oh, okay. Second yeah. in the back, you guys. Second in the back. Nothing else on you. No. Okay. So I'm just going to warn you right now. Um, if you do have anything else on you and they find it at Green County, because you're going to have to go through like a scanner and all that. Mm -hmm. If you have anything on you, that's going to be an additional charge. If you do have something on you right now, we can just deal with it. We can squash it right here and now. Okay? No, there's nothing else. Nothing? Okay. Is there anything else you need from inside? I know he's going to go get your shoes. Um, do you have a phone or a wallet or something that you need? Uh, my phone's on my desk and my wallet's on my dresser. You want those? You know, if he did, like, of course he did, because that's why they're arresting him, right? They had to have, like, a investigation stuff, because he did say he was talking to a detective before, so he knew that was going to come. 
I'm like, if you're gonna work with kids, man, you gotta understand, kids can get wild because different kids get raised different ways from different families. Some family don't care what the kids do. The kids come out to be little devils and stuff, and hopefully they grow out of it. Some other kids are just like angels and just sit there and crayon or play or whatever, you know? Uh, you gotta know, you're gonna go through those one kids that might get into your soul and scratch on it you know but you gotta learn how to you know understand that you're taking care of him <laughs> i don't know why he was at a daycare if he, he couldn't handle that just like any other profession that has to do with taking care of people or dealing with people that's not right in the mind and you have to take care of them you can leave him here if you want or you can take him if you want i don't think i'd be able to use my phone but i'd like to have it so i don't know it's up to you i don't mind you're, you're being okay with me. I want to be okay with you, okay? Um, if you want, I can. we can get your phone and take that with us. And if you want, we can grab your wallet. We can take that with us as well. I, I, I just wanted to let y'all know that in the United States, you're not really supposed to have your phone in jail, right? They don't let you have that. But here in Mexico, man, you got people with cell phones, TVs, you know? And that's what I heard from people out here that I know, man. Like, their relatives is in jail for something, you know? They got TVs, cell phones, games, like... What? I guess if you got money, you can handle that, or you can have that. I don't know how it works, man. Is that something you want? It's crazy. Okay. Would you mind telling Pensy just over there? You said it's on the desk in your room. Yeah, my room okay. is downstairs. Oh, and you want your glasses to stay here, or you want your glasses to go home or go with you? Okay. Phone and wallet. Ooh. Could you take? Oh no. I couldn't be without glasses if 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 if, yeah. if I had to have them. to get your shoes before I bring the car around. Okay. Okay. Um. Little, little, little fun fact that I, I think my older videos you guys can see I got glasses I used to need glasses since I was like I don't know 13 14 or whatever then I evolved to contacts then I got an eye infection from contacts so I couldn't wear them no more and like about a year and something ago I got it I got a uh, it just slipped my mind but I got a uh, LASIK and blah it's like I got 2020 again but I kind of do because I can see you know what I'm saying but if you need glass, if you don't want glasses no more, man, that's an option. It's it's life changing in ways you could I couldn't do stuff before. Now I can. You have like play like basketball, be go swimming without. This is legitimately lessons. my first time being in, in being in any trouble. Sort of trouble. Okay, sure. So I'm blabbering. Grab the clothes. glasses. Okay, thank you. Right, I'll be right back and I'll kind of go over some stuff with you. Okay. You know I don't know how the child daycare works but um do like the parents have the ability to see cameras in there or something if they got cameras like can the parent go up there and be like you know what i want to see the cameras for today to see what was going on with my child or something like that like i don't i never you know been to a daycare so i don't i don't know if you have had kids on the daycare please let me know down below i like to know if you can do that <laughs> That's a possibility, and if it ain't, I think it should. Oh, he's bringing the car closer to like put him to his new house for a while. I don't like to judge before you guys buy first looks, but. Incorrect. If I had a kid, I don't think I would like leave him at a daycare like that. Yeah, we'll have her in custody. He said the medicine with an A that has a label on it is in his nightstand. Yeah, right here. They got a bag. They got prescribed yeah. meds and stuff like that. Um, she is to me, and he is crazy. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Driver's license says me. I. Okay. Right. This is the identifying ass thing. Gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, notification to jail on that. I mean, that's cool. Huh? Yeah, so, yeah that's cool. I'm gonna pause it real quick, you guys. Did they say that he uses medication? Like for what? And is that even good if you like have a certain medical problem? To that could cause like a certain problem with kids uh like let you work here i don't know if they evaluate people in certain medical conditions like if you're able to work with young around there i don't like to say that word a lot you know 
You know what I'm talking about? Or as a YouTube? They're coming back out with it? Okay. Gotta be like super. Careful with the words you use them when you own video. They all have their name on. Well, this one doesn't, and they say that this, but it's a different pill, so I don't, I don't get it. Okay. okay. Well, if, they, if they don't have nurse know with his name on it, then I can. Okay. Okay. These ones all have their name. Yeah. Okay. Well, her. Yeah. Right, right. Why is that a lot of medication? There's a monster pill. Okay, yeah, this is this This just came to my mind. I don't think I'm from I'm wrong about it, like to say this or whatever. If you think so, let me know down below. But his parents are awfully calm. You know? Like I know if if I would have done something, man, I was about to get arrested. My mom and dad be going crazy. Like, what's going on? You know what I mean? Probably make the situation even worse for the police. <laughs> just to be honest, you know? They're extremely calm. Maybe they know not to do that. But I don't think they're even getting on him. Like, why did you do that? I don't know. Maybe they will. But why? Well, I, I I don't know. I guess even their daughter like has a restraining order to get near the house or or him. But I'm I'm just you know what I'm talking about. Like they're extremely calm, especially about him. Like if I was my brother, I'd be like, man, bro, why why you do that, man? You're not supposed to do that to first little ones. Yeah, she has to do this. In order to possess it, you have to have it. Okay, so it's a... 875. Yeah, here, here, baby. You want to take the bottle with you? Okay. See, that's just a weird thing because... I'm off of school. ...because the state of Ohio doesn't recognize it. Let's say, for instance, you were driving in your car. And we... This is like... Okay. Uh, okay, this is just Is that what we're looking for? Mm, let me see. I, I understand why like they have to go through that and how you have to write down the medication you have to take and all that stuff, because of course, just like people are criminals. I mean, the police has to take care of them, make sure they don't like end up going to another world and when they're in jail, <laughs> you know, like it's the truth. So, I mean, they, they got to make sure the people that are in the place they're supposed to be are okay. That's that's some work. Back to his what? Okay. That one's one that he takes. That's guys are dipping out. Okay. So these are three needs to go. Health problems? Is this? No, that's a must. That's my ADHD medicine. Okay. This is the ADHD. A R I D. She went to go look. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow, he has ADHD. He was working at a daycare center. I've met people that have ADHD, man, and they snap real fast. I mean, I honestly, I had a you know, ex girlfriend that had that, and one day, like, one minute she'll be okay, and the next minute, like, she'll go off out of nothing, like, out of any simple little thing. I had never been with somebody like that. I understand that's like, they, they can't control that, you know, they gotta be doing that, but, uh, so it's great for people that can, like, deal with that kind of stuff. Eventually, we didn't work out because of situations we had to move and stuff, like, I had to move somewhere else, but I don't think that's a good idea to be around kids. You know, kids will get in. There's kids that get in, 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 in like, in, like, ooh, they, they, you know what I mean? But that's natural for people to feel like they just like when somebody yells at you or something like that. But you gotta understand that you know they're youngins.
So for him to have that, yeah, that was like a instant, like it was going to blow up one day. That's all I'm saying, man. You think the same? I don't know. <laughs> Simple though. This, this is my thoughts because I've been with somebody that, that I gave it a little bottle to go look the match. Honestly, my uh, cousin's little kid has that, and she, she's very active and crazy sometimes. But, but we understand. It's not his fault. Gathered enough evidence, brought it to like a grand jury, um, and gave, convinced them that they wanted to hear the case. So right now it's still in the probable cause phase, right? Which is we take her, we take her to jail. There's a warrant out for her. We take her to jail, and she's going to see a judge um, for bond or whatever on Monday. Okay, right now. Yeah, she doesn't have bond right now. So there's no bond right now um, until she can see a judge. Okay, but on Monday, um, she's gonna go in the women's section or the men's section. Probably gonna have to go in the women's section. Um, just because. I mean, I don't, I don't know what the jail policy is. Okay, that's not Fairborn. What we determine, um, but I think, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm, and I'm not 100 percent sure on it, okay. if I'm not mistaken, if legally, like her legal sex is still female, if right. legal sex is still female, then right. she so by law, ten parts. Yeah. Um, so unfortunately, like she would not be, or he would not be allowed so to be in the, the male sex. Teresa. Oh, okay, I'm getting confused over here. What, what, who are they talking about? Are they talk about him or she? Like, he, it's confusing. Is she sees himself as a, a as a she? Is that is what the, is it, is it what the dad's talking about or something? Or are they talking about the sister? Man, I'm getting a little confused because uh, I understand. You know, I understand people want to be who they want to be. You know, there's nothing against that. Huh? Go for it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm kind of like a little bit confused. Let me know, like, if you got that. Yeah, I know. Not it. That's, that's the one that we had. Yeah. I was a detective. Not it. That's a. Demon? Uh, wait a minute. Um, it also could be that. Uh, no. That's the only one that he's got. Okay. So it's only He's still like. So to it's, if they pull yeah, what they were talking about. His, you know, if you've got access to his Walgreens, because I mean, I don't, they don't should. really have access to that. He, he, he does with his phone, but he ain't gonna keep his phone, is he? Well, I mean, they have access to the pharmacy board. The jail? Mm -hmm. uh, no, I don't I think mean, so. Well, they pulled. Well, we got notified of the, our, our young, our days. autistic daughter, Brittany, that y'all guys just have come down here. Yeah, yeah, she's been there for a while. She's, she's on the, the green She's house. on the third floor. Oh, okay. Oh, um, but she, yeah, I remember Brittany. I, I yeah. think I've been yeah. here yeah, yeah, yeah. for Brittany. She's on the third she's floor. Been, she's been to court a couple of times. So, so declared uh, her in confidence. No and they. Wait, the officer just said, I remember Brittany. I guess Brittany's their daughter. So, like, she's been in and out. I'm, I'm guessing. That's that's not a good life, you guys. Um, but I guess you, you, you got to go somewhere, right? Sometimes it's hopefully change your life. And that's the only way you can do it. Uh, I, I, I guess that's the one you did. Wow, those parents can probably deal with a lot of stuff in their life, man. I mean, you got to love your kid no matter what, right? But, wow, some parents really have it hard. Like they go through hard. There's parents that like get kids that are like wonderful, beautiful, and uh, or do great things, you know. And then there's a family that get kids that get introduced to the wrong things and mess their life up, you know. Even if the parents want to like get stuff into their head, like don't do that, this and that, they just no longer care. And you know, it's it's, it's bad. Whew won't give us custody because she's well, guardianship. A guardianship because of the attacks. Most um, likely my and sister is taking it. Her sister is going to take her. Gotcha. And okay. so that's all in work right now. The attorney is wrong. Of course, I'm at 29. Uh, yeah. So okay. what they're going to do is is the case, she's been fired incompetent. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, going, they're doing another, uh, another uh, 
a court date and then can you give him any of these? Well, we're yeah, trying to get it done, done with, but this one is <laughs> needs it. Does he, is it not? It doesn't but have, it doesn't doesn't have, have a script on his name on it. Yeah. Well, how about I take it, and then if they don't want it, and they kick it back to me and say they can't, um, I'm coming back to the city. I'll be here all night. I can either drop it off or I can leave it in the mailbox if it gets late at night or something like that. If you want me to do that, if you want me to go ahead and try to do that. I can't okay. drive. Sure. I just got you know, I was talking about like some parents get like kids that are really bad. Um. I have a cousin, you know, um, I actually, I have a lot of cousins and that are different races, you know, and I was going to say that because I'm coming back then. Somebody said I was racist or something like that, but this cousin is, he's white and he was pretty bad. And if you're watching this for some reason, cousin, I don't want to say your name. <laughs> I'm just proud of you, bro. I'm proud, but he was really, really bad when he was younger, especially to his mom, my aunt, and he went to jail a couple of times. And one day, like after getting out of jail and stuff like that, he just changed his life. He became really good, really good to his mom, really good to my uncle, and uh, he changed. So there is possibilities that kids can change for the better. So I'm just trying to say that they're not. I'm not trying to say all the kids that are bad are always bad, but you know, hopefully they see light, like my cousin. <laughs> I'm proud of you, bro, and uh, change. Out of okay, sure. So, well, I will. I'll try. Um, I don't think they're going to take it, so okay. I think I'm gonna have to bring it back. Um, if it's too late, I'll probably just put it in. If you're okay with it, I'll just drop it in your mailbox okay. when it's too late. Because it. I don't. I don't want you guys to be waking up at one or two in the morning. Because yeah, um, I, I know that. with Brits, they somehow were able to look cars up, and they wouldn't add on Tylenol and no train. Well, they do have their own medical. They have medical staff at mm -hmm. the jail. It's just not 24 hours. Mm -hmm. um, so they may not. So they may look it up until tomorrow. So they probably, they probably won't even be able to look it up have you, tomorrow. Okay. I, I, uh, has he taken a dose today? I don't know when he takes it. Gray? Right. He's yeah. off in the car. He can't afford bond or anything like that. But Monday morning, you will see it. And they will determine whether they're going to go ahead and release you. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's the bond. That will all be done. No, no, no. So I just want to correct myself real quick. I was saying like the parents seem like they like, you know, just were like too calm and stuff like that. I see the mama now. She's like, look like she wanted to cry. But I guess it's putting it, keeping it together because they don't want to get in any more problems. They probably been through that too many times that. They know it just to be chilled and stuff like that. Because I was wondering, like, I don't because like I said, my parents would have been like, hey, get that bus handle. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, that, but yeah, I feel for the parents, man. I really do. Because as a parent, you don't want to be going through that stuff. Everybody wants to be a parent, raise their kids because they love them and want to have a good life, especially with the kids and stuff like that. But you don't know how your kid's going to turn out. You don't know what he's going to be introduced to as he grows up or she grows up what they choose to be who they choose to be in the future that might cause problems because other people don't understand you know what i'm talking about and uh i it's just it's just life and uh i think a parent no matter what should try to still have hopes for the children to have a good life but i see that now like parents okay, whatever, especially the mom okay. but that you i would i would wait until and... you hear him. Because he's going Whatever to the bond said, who actually is the bond? Huh? Who will set the bond? So the warrant should have the bond set. I didn't think that it. Let me go check and make. Let me go check and see if there's a bond set. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Bros, I'm just saying. If you're in a job or a career that you do not enjoy, I'm just saying because of that that man right there, uh, or I don't know if it's a she. I, I still don't get that part, right? I don't know what he wants to see himself or her ass. But uh, yeah, if you got a job or career and you're no longer happy for some reason, you can always look for a better uh, another job or another career, even if you get paid less. But as long as you're happy, that's all that counts. Like you want to get up in the morning, go to work, 
do what you have to do, come back and have a good life. I don't know what caused him or her, because I, mean, I didn't get that part, to do, decide to do and treat the kids like that. Oh, you too, please. Don't dim it in my ads. But he or she should have quit, you know, instead of going this far. And But yeah, consequences, man. He needs to go to jail for his con for, for what he or she did. Because <laughs> I don't get what they were talking about. So I don't want to, like, yeah. you know, there's time. He yeah, after a while. So I hope so. Kind of like make, make the person like that. I understand how, you know, people's opinions. I can have it put to the front. Um, if possible. If not, it's. Yeah, we can do that. That's fine. I don't mind doing that at all. He's been fine with us. If you want to take it off, we can leave it here, but the jail's going to take it and put it in your property if you don't. You'll have it when you get out of the jail. Nobody's going to steal it from you, okay? I wonder how much his bond's going to be in, like, what, what all 80 plus. Yeah. charges are they going to give him? I hope they say it on here, too. <laughs> it's kind of interesting to see yeah, what is the consequences. Oh, I don't think they are. Yeah, right. yeah, Yeah, I, I, they, they didn't. But if you find out what the like what the charger went to pay, to let, put it down in the comments so I can like pin it and stuff like that. Oh, that was interesting. Kind of lets you know what consequences get you, get you in, in jail, man. Like I say, man, you're not happy with your job. Look for another one. Be happy. That's all that counts in life. I mean, you don't gotta be rich to to be happy, but as long as you got enough to like pay your rent buy a little thing you like here and there but hey, hey that's all that counts man there's people with less less even without a real house that are very happy in their life and you ain't gotta ruin it because you want to do something stupid like this man or you know did wow you want to watch something else kind of like this you can check out this video right here and uh thanks for watching i will see you in the next one